Today I want to find out how many of these AA batteries it takes to start this bad boy right here. Okay, uh, I've seen some sparks. 100 and something amps. <laughs> no way! Cold outside. We've got the fire going so we don't freeze to death here. This is how many batteries I have right here. And uh, I made this box out of plywood. I used two sheet metals on both sides. On this one, I used some foam here, so it keeps the batteries tight and connected. And we're just gonna have to fill this box up and see how many batteries it takes. It's gonna be the positive and there's a negative. As we all know, a car needs a 12 volt battery. This battery needs to have a lot of amps. These batteries don't have much amperage but if we use enough of them we should get enough to start the car in order to get these 12 volts we're gonna need eight of these batteries because they are 1.5 volts and we're gonna get 12 volts problem is that when i try to put this battery all the way down there the other batteries are kind of flying around what i came up with i'm gonna use pieces of pex pipe i'm gonna fill the pipe with batteries this is our PEX pipe, it's full of batteries. This is the positive, this is the negative. And when we put it inside, the batteries should stay right there. As you can see, it seems like they're touching. So we got 13.6 volts and that's perfect. Three, two, one. Okay, so it looks like we have four amps. That's more than I expected. So I have 45 pieces of PEX pipe right here. Now let's fill them up with batteries, put them in the box and see if we can start the truck. As you can see, we have all of our PEX pipes full of batteries and in here, we have 45 of them in here. According to my very precise measurements and calculations, we should have 180 amps. It's very hard to believe even for me, but we're gonna have to try it and see what it does. As you can see, not all of these batteries are touching properly to the plates. They're not very like tight. So what I came up with, I'm gonna use these screws. I'm gonna screw them through the plywood and hopefully it's gonna push this plate that way and it's gonna have a better better contact yeah now they're definitely more tight okay so i'm gonna put the battery right here now i'm gonna connect the negative to the negative positive to the positive negative and positive okay uh, i've seen some sparks and i'm gonna go try turn it on The moment of truth. Three, two, one. Oh, it's not enough. Turns out this is not enough batteries. I'm just gonna add everything I have left. I used all my PEX pipe in here. I have some batteries left, but we still have over 600 batteries in here. So let's go try it again and see what it does. This thing is, is, is very heavy. Okay. Let's try again. All the lights are on. But it wouldn't crank the engine. Okay, so what I did here to get a better connection, I used some bolts and some washers. Nothing. The better connection didn't help either. We may just need more batteries. This truck right here, the truck that I was trying all this time, has a 5.4 liter engine this hyundai here it's a 1.6 liter and see if this is gonna work i disconnected the battery and i connected the wire straight to the cable now let's go try turn on the car yeah not enough now i connected the battery like this i connected the wire from the negative and straight to the negative of, of the truck and the same here now I'm gonna go inside, turn it off, and turn it back on. Ah, it doesn't work. Uh. Let's at least connect the power inverter and uh, try to power some uh, other loads. So at least we can see if we can get any power from these batteries. 12.4, 12.5. Now I'm gonna try to plug in this light here. It's a pretty big light. One. Oh, it works. Oh, we're down to 11.5. Oh, 
but it worked. We can at least have a light. Moment of truth. Yeah, boy, we're charging. I got this thing right here. You can sharpen knives and stuff. This is a inductive load. It's gonna need a lot of power to start. Let's see if this works. Ah, doesn't want to start. Oh, 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 oh. It starts, works. Okay, it works. <laughs> This thing needs a lot of power. <laughs> Doesn't want to start. Now that we've been playing with this battery, I think it's time to see what's the short circuit current. Let's go. 134. 100. Wait. 118? This thing is getting hot. This <laughs> Man, but 100 and something amps. Why does it not start the car? 120, 117. This is a lot of amps, by the way. Yeah, these things are getting warm. These wires are almost hot. Yeah, boy. Oh, not enough. Not enough juice. Now that the battery is dead, let's go and try to charge it. 11.8 volts. By the way, these are not rechargeable batteries. I want to know if this battery is capable to melt this wire. So let's try and do that. Smoking. Oh boy. No way. Yeah, boy. We have a lot of amps here, but it's still not enough to turn on. Turn on that engine. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Red hot nichrome wire that's used in heaters and stuff like that. Let's see if this is gonna get red hot. This is not supposed to oxidize, at least so fast. So let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, this one is just red. <laughs> Gets red, but it's not melting. Okay, now let's try this longer wire. See if it can melt this one. Okay, I think it's glowing red already. Yeah, I can feel the heat. I can feel the heat coming off of it. Yeah, it's definitely red. So, to answer the question we had at the beginning, how many of these batteries it takes to start a car? It's probably like a couple thousand of them. They have some amps, but a car needs a lot more than that. So yeah. See you in the next video.